It's beer o'clock on Relay Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Magic Rock Brewing Company and this is a can of their Common Grounds Coffee Porter. It's been brewed with chocolate and vanilla. It's a 330 milliliter can coming in at 5.4% ABV. Magic Rock Brewing Company. I've not had one of their beers in, well, a good few months. I think I picked one up in Asda recently, two months ago, three months ago. Um, it's been brewed with Darkwoods coffee. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Now some of you, very early viewers of the channel, might remember me being up in Leeds uh, reviewing this beer uh, with my friend Rob. Rob Hopsin and Stuart Pickard. Oh, it must have been about 2014, 2015. Got off the train at Leeds. Met them at the train station at Leeds. Went to a... Well, it was like a vegan bar. We had vegan green fries and... Uh, we ended up drinking... Uh, uh, well, I seen this and bought this straight away. It was a, it was a, it was a new... Relatively new beer from Magic Rock back then. Back when they were independent. Uh, they were an independent brewery back then and they were bringing out new beer all of the time. It was like one of those things where every month new beer from Magic Rock. They've now been brought out by the company that owns Lion Lager. So I've not had this beer for a good seven, six, seven years. One finger, very small one finger, white head, a little bit of lacing on the glass, a little bit of carbonation. Jet black beer in the glass. No light bleeding through. Well, there is a tiny, tiny bit of light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass. Uh, let's get the aroma. I picked, I actually picked this up. I need to think about it, where I picked this one up. I've had it a little while in the fridge there. Let's get the aroma. Oh, proper coffee in here. Proper coffee from that coffee company here. Um, they, have, they have been mentioned. Darkwoods Coffee. Wow, real. You can really get it. Fresh coffee beans. Bitterness. Cacao nibs. Chocolate. Coffee caramel. Smells beautiful. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. A little bit hissy and fizzy on the palate. It, I think it passes as a porter. It's a little bit like a dark mild. I've had dark milds that have been like this before. There's some vanilla, chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours. The reason why I mention mild is, is it's a little bit thin. Now I can't remember seven years ago. I don't think anybody could remember a beer that they had seven years previous, six or seven years previous. Especially when you've travelled six hours on a train to Leeds and then got off and ordered your first beer. It's one of those beers that you just want to like, you know, smash it back just to... Just to um, be irresponsible. No, <laughs> not to be irresponsible. Just, to, just to unwind. You know, just to, just that you've been on the train six hours. You just want to relax. Um, but I, 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 I can't remember what it was like on keg. To be honest, it was, it was a long time ago. Now I, I said earlier. 
about picking this up. I can't remember if I picked this up. I picked it up in Sainsbury's. It just come to me now. I picked it up in Sainsbury's. I nearly said Asta. <laughs> uh, I nearly said Asta. I did. I nearly start tapping my back pocket. Oh my, uh, I don't know. But no, I picked it up in Sainsbury's. I did. I was in Sainsbury's. Some of you might who watch the channel on a regular basis. Whenever I go to Sainsbury's, I pick up everything because it's like a 12 mile there and back journey. And I gotta go. If I'm gonna go, it's gotta make my while to go. So they brought out a new range of craft beers. And I thought, I've already reviewed this. Do I pick? And I thought, you know what, for a, for a couple of pounds, it was only about two pounds this can. I thought, for a couple of quid, let's pick it up and let's review it in can form. And let's not try to reference too much the, the, the previous review we did in Leeds because I'll never remember. But I have, I've just spent the whole time referencing uh, Leeds when I had this on keg. In Bundo Bust. <laughs> I even remember the name. Wow, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. A place called Bundo Bust, I think it was called. Bundo Bust Leeds. We had like green fries. They were like, um. It was like some veg, vegetable fries. They were tasty. They were really good. You're asking me the name of the fries now, aren't you? They were, they were like something crick, crick, crickle crunch or something, crick, crick, something green. They were green fries. Um, I should really get back to, to uh, stop reminiscing now and get back to this beer. It's, it's got a slightly thin mouthfeel. Um, I don't know if it's been tinkered with since Lion Group have bought the beer. Um... It's a vegan beer registered with the Vegan Society. Uh, barley rye. Oh, it just contains barley rye. Here we are. And we know it contains coffee. Because uh, it says so on the side of the can. So barley rye and coffee. So vague. So vague now. Magic Rock used to be all about all of the names of the hops down the side of the can. All the malts used, you know. And now it's just, yeah, we use a little bit of barley rye <laughs> and, and, and some coffee. And that's as vague as we're going to be with this beer. But it's, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's going to be pretty decent to go into Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's are one of those supermarkets where they will not accept, like, poor, poor quality stuff. Um, it's generally a bit like Marks and Spencer's where you know you're going to get something pretty decent. So let's rate this then. Um, rocking the beer back and forth. You've got the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Um, it looks good. Smells okay. Smells good, actually. Tastes okay. That's what I wanted to say. Tastes okay. Bit thin, but on the plus side with it being thin, rather drinkable. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.